If you're over the age of 50 and you want to learn how to build muscle using resistance bands, then don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you exactly what to do. If you don't know who I am, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today we're going to be talking all about how to build muscle over the age of 50 using resistance bands. So resistance bands are a great bit of kit to have in your home. They're light, they don't cost very much, and they can provide enough resistance to build muscle all over the body. So I'm gonna show you five of my favorite exercises to help you do just that. But before I do, I just wanna let you know that the exercises in this video are not gonna be suitable for everyone. Please do get checked out by your doctor before you put them into action. And if they cause you any pain, just avoid them. Anyway, let's have a look at the exercises now. So here is a great resistance band workout routine that you can use to help you build muscle all over the body. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite exercises today to use with a resistance band to build muscle in your legs. And the muscles we're gonna be building are your quads and your glutes. So what we're gonna do first is take your band and tie it into a loop. So it needs to be quite tight because it's gonna go around your knees like this. So slip it around both knees. We wanna have it just above the knee like that. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stick our bottom out and go into a mini squat type position. And you can see here that I've got my knees apart like this. I've got a bit of a gap between my knees here. And keeping that gap there, my glutes are having to engage to maintain it. Now the exercise is called the crab walk and it looks something like this. We're gonna to step to the side and then let that one come in slowly and repeat. And we're gonna do five in one direction like this or until you run out of space. And then we're gonna go five going back the other way. Now, this exercise, very important that this stage here is slow. We want that to be as slow as possible because that's the hard part. Because the band obviously wants to ping you back in like this. And what you're trying to do is control the movement and get a lovely eccentric contraction on those glute muscles. Now doing that just for 30 seconds, I can already feel my glutes burning and my thighs are getting a good workout as well. I'm gonna show you from the other side just so you can see the angles. So we're gonna stick the bottom out and bend the knees. See, I've got a nice straight back here throughout and then we're gonna walk and control. Walk and control. Walk and control. Now with this exercise, if our goal is to build muscle, we have to do this exercise until we start to feel fatigued. It's no point stopping at the first signs of a little bit of an ache. We need to keep going until we've only got a couple of steps of that movement in reserve. We call those reps in reserve, and it's really important we work up to only having about two reps left in the tank. So let's say I've just completed it, I'm really struggling to control it, and I've got one more left before I can't do any more. I'm gonna stop there, have a break, have a rest, probably take one to two minutes rest and repeat that another two times. So that's a total of three sets. And then we can move on to the next exercise. Now we're gonna move up the body and start working on the strength and muscle of your back. So we're gonna be working on the rhomboids which live between the shoulder blades and also the muscles around the back of the shoulder uh, itself as well. So what we need here is a slightly lighter resistance band and you're gonna wrap it around your hands like this and hold it out in front of you at about chest height. And then the exercise is simple. You're gonna keep your shoulders down away from your ears and pull the band across your body and really squeeze those shoulder blades together at the back and then come back to the start position. Now I've done this exercise on my videos before for posture, and I do it nice and slow when I'm doing it for posture, which is how I've just demoed it. But if you want to build muscle, I would recommend doing a bit of a faster movement and more repetitions. So I'll show you exactly how that would look. We start like this, we come across, and again, and again, and again, and quite simply doing it like this, you can see the movement's smaller but quicker, we're gonna to get to fatigue quicker. We're gonna really feel it in those target muscles and that's what's gonna send the signal for them to actually get bigger. So remember, today's goal is about increasing muscle size, not necessarily just improving posture, but this is going to do both things. I'm gonna show you from behind. So we stand like this, arms up, and then we pull across, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, 
squeeze. I'm not sure if you can see the area between my shoulder blades, but each time I'm trying to pinch those shoulder blades together. And now I've done six, seven, eight of these, I can start to feel a bit of a burn between the shoulder blades. And those are the rhomboids working quite hard. So keep going until you've only got one or two reps in reserve. For most people, we're gonna aim for somewhere between 10 and 20 repetitions. If you can do more than 20 and it's no problem for you, you need a stronger band. So make sure you're using the right resistance. Have one to two minutes rest between sets. Do three sets of that and then we can move on to the next exercise. So the next exercise we're gonna do is called the lateral raise. And this is an exercise for strength in your shoulders. And we're gonna make things a bit interesting here. We're gonna use an advanced training method called a drop set, which has been shown to build more muscle, especially for people who are quite advanced trainers. So to make this work, we're gonna need two resistance bands, different strengths. We've got one very light one and one medium one, okay? And we're gonna have them about the same length and we're gonna drape the middle of those bands on the floor like this, just to check that we've got an equal amount in both hands. And then we're gonna just drop the light one. So we're gonna put the light one on the floor and hold the medium one and then come to our starting position, keeping our feet in the same position. So the exercise is quite simple. You're gonna start, you probably want your thumbs facing forwards or upwards, and then we're gonna raise up and then back down, and then up and back down. Now you can see here, I'm trying to keep my neck relaxed, I'm trying to keep my shoulders down away from my ears, and it's my arms that are doing the movement. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna keep that movement going, sort of one or two seconds up, two or three seconds down. So a nice controlled movement throughout, really focusing on the squeeze of the shoulders. To get that squeeze, we're actually trying to get our elbows up high, not necessarily our hands, if that makes sense. And we're gonna keep moving until we've only got one or two reps in reserve. So if that's my last one, I'm gonna drop the medium band and then go straight for the light band. So I've just dropped down the resistance and then I'm gonna go again straight away. Now, even though we've got a lighter resistance now, you're not probably gonna be able to do as many as you could the first time, because we've already got so much fatigue from that first set. So I'm just gonna to get to eight, nine, maybe one more, and then I finish my set. So that's called a drop set. It means we go from a high weight to a low weight without much rest in between. Then we take our rest, you're gonna take one to two minutes rest, and then repeat three times over, and then move on to the next exercise. Before we go any further, I just want to tell you about Three Tip Friday. Three Tip Friday is my weekly email that I send out to my list, and it features three of the most interesting things I found that week. It could be a health tip, it could be a piece of research I'm reading, or it could be a new tool that I've found to be really useful for helping people get more mobile. It's totally free, I just send it out once a week, there's no annoying promos inside, and you can sign up for it by going down below this video and entering your email in the Three Tip Friday link. And then the final exercise we're gonna do in today's routine is the bicep curl with the band. And we're gonna do exactly the same as we did before. So it's a drop set with the same resistance bands, again, using the medium one first and then the light one second. So again, we start like this with both bands. You're gonna drape the bands on the floor, standing in the middle of both bands, stand up tall with both, then drop the light one. So we're just holding the medium one. Then we're gonna start the exercise. So again, thumbs facing forward. We're gonna come up and slightly twist. So if you look at where my thumbs are, they start facing forwards, and then when I get to the top, we just twist, so it's now my knuckles closest to my shoulder, and then back down. So we're up, and then back down. This is the full speed, so up to two, down to three. Up to two, down to three. And you wanna keep your elbows locked at your sides, just to control that movement, so the elbows stay tight to the sides. And again, we're gonna continue until we've only got one or two reps left in reserve. That means we're gonna keep going until our arms are almost on fire, as if we can't do any more. So we're not risking an injury really here, but what we are doing is working them to the point of fatigue. So let's say I can't do any more than that. I'm gonna stop, put the weight down, bend down, pick up my light one, and then repeat. So without any rest in between, 
we're now going from a heavy band or a medium band to a very light band. But because we're pre-fatigued, this one's gonna feel even heavier. And again, we're gonna keep working, keep going, keep that movement happening. You can actually do it a bit quicker with the light band and you're gonna find you hit fatigue pretty quickly. So once you've got that fatigue, squeeze out one or two more as if you could only get another one if someone had a gun to your head. Stop, put it down, take your rest. Again, one to two minutes rest and then repeat that for three times in total. Well done, that's a great muscle gain resistance band workout, hopefully that you can do at home. So that's a great muscle gain exercise routine with resistance bands. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, do drop a comment below and let us know because it does help me to improve these videos for you guys in the future. And if you want to get more from me, you can pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below. It's got loads more exercises like the ones in this video that you can find inside. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll speak to you on the next video.